Assalamualaikum dear friends. Today I am here to explain and telling the chapter number 10 simple regression and correlation important MCQs in 2020. That MCQs are very very important for you. That MCQs each each step and each each MCQs is very very important for you. So must watch this lecture completely till end if you want to gain more concepts. I will tell here reasons and explanation and solutions that why the MCQs are correct. But if you want to gain uh, all chapters and MCQs by book share Muhammad Chaudhary then must watch description below the video. So let's start the lecture. It is a given that first MCQs dependence of one variable very very simple very very easy MCQs is first here dependence of one variable on other independent variables called as regression. We know that the application is y hat is equal to a plus we have not have already that's why it's called as dependent variable. We already know that y is called as dependent variable. But in here x is called as independent variable. That's we already know that x is called as independent variable. But we know that here the given definition we have I hope that we could have accepted that dependence of one variable on other independent variable that's called as regression. What is regression? Dependence of one variable on other independent variable is called as regression. Now we will next excuse in regression equation y hat is equal to a plus bx independent variable x. We already know that x is called as independent variable is called as very simple independent variable x is called as regression. Must remember that independent variable x is called as regression. How can you how can you I, I create your concept there? Now moving the clearing your concept. So must remember that I am telling you secret points. Must remember that as you know that independent variable first of all have independent variable. Independent variable. And second is that dependent variable. I am clearing your, clearing your concept in that. So must pause this step. That step is very very important for you. Dependent variable. So must remember that. I tell you secret and key point there. Independent variable is also called as regressor regressor or predictor must remember or explanatory variable explanatory variable so must remember that that substitute is very very important for you must remember that independent variable is also called regressor it's also called predictor independent is also called as explanatory variable very very important point i told you that now dependent variable dependent variable is also called as regressor regression or we can say that predictor predictor or you can say that explained variable explained explained variable so must remember that I told you secret that independent variable is also called regressor, predictor or explanatory variable and dependent variable is also called a regressor, predictor or explained variable. So I, I hope that you clear to accept in that. There's our secrets I told you that which nobody tells you about that. Now with that in regression equation why have independent variable is called as regressor. Now third MCQ regressor is also called as Predictor. I told you here, here regressor is also called as predictor variable. I hope that you have clear concept in that. Now moving that next MCQs. Now moving that next MCQs. In next MCQs here given that first step in exact relationship is also called as probability relation. Must remember that in exact relationship is an estimated relationship. So must remember that in exact relationship also called as probability relationship. Very very important MCQs. Now five MCQs in unbiased standard error of estimate of regression as x dot y square root of x plus x square. In here 
Smission x minus x are completely square, always equal to Smission x square minus a Smission x minus b Smission. Now, first remember that in the Gaussian equation, Smission x minus x or square always equal to Smission x square minus a Smission x minus b Smission x. But in here, Smission y minus y had completely square. That will be Smission y square minus a Smission y minus b Smission. So must remember that in x equation that will be that, in y equation that will be that. I hope that you clearly accept that. Next coefficient of determination is denoted by small r square. Very very easy. Coefficient of determination also denoted by small r square, which we can say that the ratio of explained variation to the total variation. Now moving to the next MCQs. In next MCQ there is given that explained variation. When there is explained variation is smission y hat minus y bar to be You must remember that explained variation is smission y cap minus y bar completely in square. That is the explained variation. But unexplained variation. What is unexplained variation? Now clear your concept is that very very important point. Don't, so don't skip that, uh, that video. Un unexplained variation. Very very important point. What is unexplained variation? Unexplained variation always equal to summation y minus y hat completely in square. So must remember that explained variation is summation y cap minus y bar completely in square. Unexplained variation is equal to summation y minus y hat completely in square. Now that is, I hope that you have clear concept in that. Now moving that next MCU. Next MCQ is here given that, tell you that number 8 MCQs, explained variation plus unexplained variation always equal to total variation. Very, very important MCQ. That's the first number that explained variation plus unexplained variation always equal to total variation. So I, so I hope that you clearly accept that. What is total variation? Very, very simple. What is total variation? Very very important point told you that which nobody tells you about that total variation is summation y minus y bar completely scale. So must remember that total variation is summation y minus y bar completely in scale. That's called as total variation. Now we'll be that nine MCQs relationship very very easy MCQs relationship between two variables. We already know that that's called as correlation. Next when r is equal to plus one that correlation r is Perfect. That's positive. That correlation is perfect. Positive. Very very easy. MCQ next. Eleven MCQs. Covariance of x and y. Covariance is always the very important MCQs. Summation x minus x bar y minus y bar divided by n. Next. The coefficient of break correlation. Very very easy. One minus six times this square divided by n bracket n square minus, which is denoted by small r s. Coefficient of the angle is denoted by small r s. Formula is here. Next, summation y minus y bar as given that which is total variation is equal to y very easy. Summation y square minus summation. How can you prove? I am I, I'm telling you, I am clearly your concept that how can you say that summation y minus y bar is equal to this? Very, very easy. A very, very uh, easy trick. I have told you that. Very, very easy trick. Now, is here summation y minus y bar completely in square. Always equal to summation y square minus n y bar square. So must remember that I am proving that summation. How can we? Uh, how can summation y minus y bar square is equal to summation y square minus summation y completely square that one. Very very easy step. I have told you that very very important point. Very very easy summation. We can write it summation y square minus n y bar square. I am solving that. Smission y square minus n. We ask you only that y bar is equal to smission y divided by n. So here will be smission y divided by n completely in square. And we're solving that smission y square minus n. Smission y completely in square divided by n square. And cut that. Now moving that smission y square minus smission y completely in square divided So I, I, I prove that. Uh, this is equal to this. I hope that you have clear concept in that. Now moving that next MCUs. Now moving that next MCUs.
In next sentence, you are given that in regression patient a by x where will be is equal to y bar minus b by x x bar. Very easy point. Correlation coefficient are lies between minus one and plus one. Next residual very very important MCQs. What is residual? Residual is equal to y minus y hat. Must remember that residual is equal to y minus y hat. Y hat the is the estimated trend values. Here is given that must remember that smission y minus y hat always equal to zero. In residual smission y minus y hat always equal to zero. Now that nice question you use it. That question is very important for you. R is independent of region and scale. Then R x y R is equal to R u v. So must remember that R x y is equal to R u v. That is that shows that R is independent of change of region scale. Thanks for watching the video. If you like that video, then can you must subscribe to my YouTube channel and must press bell icon button for gain notification of my new lecture. Goodbye.